ho ho! Hello boys and girls! Santa Claus here! I have something very important to talk to you about today. The most remarkable thing is happening this holiday season. Listen very carefully, tell me what you hear. That's right! Nothing! There's no hustle or bustle going on whatsoever in the workshop. The elves aren't making any toys. Instead of making toys, the elves are out promoting veganism, teaching people how to make compassionate choices. See those birds? They are our friends, not our food. The elves are handing out guides to cruelty-free eating, teaching people how to eat without hurting anyone. See that food there? That's not a dead animal, that's a veggie burger. They're also teaching people that animals are not ours to wear. Don't wear fur. Ban the sale of cat and dog fur in Canada and around the world. The elves are also teaching people that it's wrong to use animals for our entertainment. See that poor elephant with the chain around her leg at the circus? That is wrong. That is cruel. And the elves are teaching people that animals are not ours to experiment on. See this poor animal in a cage? That is wrong as well. Here are some of the letters I received from around the world. Ryan says, I want Santa to make every non-vegan human live a week in the life of a farmed animal. Kyle says, I want all slaughterhouses to disappear, go bankrupt, and everyone turns vegan. Ali wants a vegan world and to stop all animal abuse. Here's a letter from Sarah. Dear Santa, I want people to stop buying fur coats, fur trimmed coats, leather, and other parts of animals so animals don't get bashed in the head and murdered brutally anymore. I want everyone to go vegan so that animals aren't raped, tortured, and then murdered for their dinner. I want hunters to disappear off the face of the earth so that animals don't have to fear and run for their lives and be shot to death. Love, Sarah. Serena from Italy writes, I would like 30% fewer people that eat meat. That would be a good start, Serena, wouldn't it? Once we had 30%, then it would just steamroll. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Before you know it, the whole world would be vegan. Tasha writes, Dear Santa, I want a magic ray gun that turns meat eaters into vegans. First, I would change my parents so they stopped feeding me dead animals. Then I would go to the grocery store and stock my prey in the meat department. I'd have to get the managers and employees too, so they won't kick me out. Tasha, I wish there were such a ray gun, but this could be your own, very own ray gun. You can order leaflets and hand them out. O'Reilly from France writes, I would like a ban on foie gras. Here in France, there's foie gras everywhere for Christmas. It's disgusting. I agree, O'Reilly. Foie gras is completely disgusting. In case you don't know what that is, it's diseased duck liver. People take ducks and lock them up in cages and stuff tubes down their throats and force feed them so their livers get very big and diseased. But people like fancy French names, so you put a fancy French name on something, call it foie gras, and everyone wants to eat it. If you called it diseased duck liver, no one would want to eat it. I agree, we must ban foie gras. Princess wants a ban on hunting. Joy wants people to stop stealing cow's babies. Santa's vegan cookies can be set out with soy or almond's milk this year. Mmm, delicious. I love soy or almond's milk. Anything but cow's milk. The reason why they steal the cow's babies is because people don't want the cow's babies to get the milk because the farmers want to steal the milk for themselves and sell it to humans who will pay lots of money for it. And it's not nice. The cows get very, very sad when their babies are taken away from them. And the babies go to veal farms and they're killed when they're just babies so people can eat them. Here's another letter from O'Reilly in France. Dear Santa, my Carnist family thinks I'm intolerant because I don't want them to eat meat in front of me during Christmas dinner. Could you explain to them the concepts of sharing and love? I agree, O'Reilly. It's very difficult to see your family members, people you love, eating your animal friends. Very, very sad. O'Reilly's parents, yes, you must learn about the concepts of sharing and love. We must share this planet with others and not be selfish and greedy. We have no right to take the life away from a beautiful being just because we want to eat that being's flesh. That's very greedy and selfish. We must be kind to all beings. Taylor from Canada says, I want all animal exploitation abolished and all animals to live free. 
another young lady named Taylor wants an end to BSL. That is breed specific legislation, which bans or restricts certain types of dogs based on their appearance because they are perceived as dangerous breeds or types of dogs. Again, that is very, very wrong. That's judging others based on their appearance, and that is wrong. Just like you wouldn't judge someone based on the color of their skin, we can't judge dogs based on the, the, the way they look. Linda writes, Dear Santa, I want a magic voice so that whenever I speak, people are enchanted so that they listen to every word I say and do what I ask them to do. I promise I will ask very nicely. I will ask everyone to go vegan and to make up for their horrid past behavior by taking care of people, animals, and the planet with such love that all beings everywhere are happy and at peace of heart. Linda, I know it can be very frustrating when you talk to people and they don't seem to listen. I've encountered that myself, talking to family members and they don't seem to want to listen to me, and they never change their ways. They keep on eating my animal friends. So it can be very frustrating. I wish I had a magic voice too. But that's again why you can hand out leaflets. Even if you can't get some people to change, like people in your family, you can go out in the public and reach other people. If you go hand out 100 leaflets, maybe a few of those people, you'll, you'll really be able to reach through to them and get them to, to change and to stop eating animals. Christine from Toronto writes, Dear Santa, I want breeders banned and for people to adopt from shelters. I also want people to spay and neuter. I want the truth behind the dairy, egg, meat, fur, animal entertainment industries to be taught in schools, as well as the Canada Food Guide to be changed to include a vegan version. I want people to adopt needy children instead of breeding their own unless they are vegan. I want people to be less self-centered and to do something that will help out others as long as it's not supporting animal research. I want people to choose right over wrong and go vegan. Here's a letter from Paulo the dog. Woof, Santa, it is me, Paulo. My mama told me that you live here in Finland at Kovortunzuri, but I assume that you travel a lot and now you are in the US. Okay, my wish is that I hope that every homeless animal gets a home and every animal abuser gets a punishment. I hope that people rescue homeless animals and that bad things happen to animals no more. I agree, Paulo the dog. We need better protection for animals and stiffer penalties for animal abusers. Especially farmed animals have virtually no protection whatsoever. They're just treated as pieces of property instead of the beautiful sentient beings that they are. So thank, thank you, Paulo. Well said. I'll read one last letter from Amy. Dear Santa, my holiday wish is to bless everyone with a healthy dose of empathy, compassion, and respect toward animals and each other. By doing so, we could eradicate factory farming, animal abuse, suffering, oppression, and other evils in the world. I've been a really good girl this year, so hopefully that helps my wish come true. I thank you all very much for your thoughtful letters, and all of the elves are out in the public working very hard to educate people about animal cruelty so that we can put an end to this cruelty. Although we have many elves working very hard to educate the public about cruelty to animals, we need you to be Santa's helpers as well. You can hand out leaflets about veganism, you can write letters to the editor, you can put bumper stickers on your car teaching people about veganism, you can wear shirts. Here I have a shirt, my favorite shirt in the world, that says vegan on it. You can talk to all of your friends and family members everywhere. We must promote veganism and help abolish carnism and put an end to animal cruelty. Teach people everywhere that animals are not ours to use for food, clothing, entertainment, or experiments. And since the elves are very busy promoting veganism this year, instead of working in the workshop building toys, what you can do is buy used toys. You can go to second-hand stores, thrift shops, and buy used clothing and used items. And instead of brand new wrapping paper, you can wrap presents in newspaper. No matter what religion you practice, or whether you practice no religion at all, one thing we can all agree on is that kindness is a good thing. We must be kind to all beings this holiday season and every day of the year. Remember, animals are not ours to use for food, clothing, entertainment, or experiments. Animals are our friends, and we have no right to exploit them in any way. So go vegan, my friends, 
Go vegan! Ho, ho, ho!